So in this uh, lesson, we are going to make a form that the user will be able to update or upload the video. But before that, let me just show you the flow of this uh, process. So the user will select a video, then automatically LiveWire upload, upload it to a temporary file called LiveWire temp. temp. And then here is our job. We'll start to save it to another folder, permanent folder. We create, we will create a record in the database with the basic information for the video, and then we will send it all of them to the edit form. So this is the whole process because LiveWire immediately upload uh, any file selected on the input as as we will see. So this will be like a backend. Of course, this will be a very simple uh, process, but of course, then there will be something for processing later. We are going to run a few jobs, but that will be later. So let's get the basic functionality first. So if we go to the code, if we go to the create, if we go to LiveWire and then create video, we need just to have few things here like channel, channel. We need to add the channel, which is a variable channel. Also, we will add public video as well as video. And we will need the video file itself, public, public video file, which is basically you can put any variable here. So in the mount, what we are going to do in the mount function, mount function, we are going to set, of course, we'll get the channel. So channel will receive the channel and then channel variable and we will set it on our variable in this class this channel equal of course the channel coming onto the mount so we set this is the first thing and then of course there will be a render value and then we have another function we, as we mentioned it will be called function uh, file completed this will, will we will need it later not now and then also we'll have all of these moving the file and so on then we will need the basic upload function so we'll come back to this but we'll create the upload function and in this upload function, we will do the validation for the video file. So video file validation will be required. And then it will be M type of the file. Let's start with MP4, for example, we can add a lot. Later, the maximum, we can put any number here for allow for bigger files. Of course, we will need also some, uh, let me just put this one in the validation. Sorry about, forget this, this dot validate, validate, and then in the array, we'll keep this line. And this should be starting with this way. So the validation now is, is done, which is basically it will validate the video file. It's a required type of MP4 and then the size. Also, we will uh, configure the live wire temporary because uh, the temporary maximum also upload because that's also impacting uh, the live upload because it automatically live wire will update it, uh, upload it to the, the temporary folder. And that also has a limitation. We'll see it in the configuration as well. So once this is now configured, uh, I think we are ready. We'll come back to this function, of course, and we'll add the progress bar and so on. So our next step, we'll go to the view or just go to the views uh, under the video live wire of course and live wire videos create in this form we are going to create uh, we'll create the form so let's get the form maybe from the welcome or home yeah let's take it from home oops home copy and then go to create and then let's adjust whatever we need here so remove this one and we don't want to extend because we already extended on the on the class like then be container and then center eight card so let me just remove this header and just I want I don't want the session. Okay, and I want here just the input here. So it will be like input input file. And we will wire it with wire model video small letter video file. So it is here. Now I want when there is a change, so wire change event, I want to run the upload function. So if everything is fine, when I select the file, automatically it will kick off this uh, this function so let's get let's try this one let's get going up to update now i have the file select them folder let me select one file here so it will load so if everything is okay now we should be able to see the file uploaded as i mentioned it is it will be in the storage if we go to the to the xcode uh, it will be under if we go to the storage okay if i open a reveal in finder then there is under app there will be live wire temp folder and let's just let me delete everything and start test it again so let's do one more to make sure it's working and it's not working. So let's go to the class and check. I think one thing I missed here is that using the trait, we have to use with upload trait. This is one thing. So it is already added here as well as on the plate or in the view of this component. We don't have to include the section because this is added by LiveWire itself. Now it sh should be fine. If I go and refresh, let me open the inspect, the inspector, and then let's do one more test. So let me open the file and then select the file. So if everything is fine, then I'm able to see the file here. So the file upload is working fine or to the temporary, of course. So next time we are going to do the 
the progress bar and then the actions after the 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 file is uploaded completely and that the record is created we have to do the edit